Okay, boys and girls. Today we're going to have a little what's inside video. This is just going to be a quick one. Because there really isn't a lot to show you. So this, as it may look like an oil filter, but if you know the name on the side there, Bendix, it's a giveaway for what it really is. This is an air dryer filter, so this is not an oil filter. Uh, and this is a Bendex part number 5008415. Now this guy came off of 2015 Hino. Now typically when your air dryer is puking liquids or amounts of oil out, it usually means these are bad, they're saturated, and it's not doing anything anymore. So we're going to have a look inside and what's inside this thing. Now I do know there's desiccant beads in here because as you can see I stabbed the ever-living but Jesus out of this thing with screwdrivers to get it off. <laughs> so I put some tape over the screw holes to keep as most of that in. So what I've already done, uh, just to avoid it taking too long here, was I took my uh, my angle grinder with a cutoff wheel and just circumference the side here so I can pull the top of this off, which is surprisingly why it's sticking. Okay, so we'll start with the top because I'm going to try not to make a giant mess. The top of this thing here, has a gasket on the here on the side, just like an oil filter, and that seals up against your dryer housing. It will typically be sitting like this. You can see there's some oil there. And then, of course, we come on the inside, and there appears to be eh, not really any veins. All right, so we'll come over to here. We've got a filter, like a mesh media here. It's kind of like a spongy type media. Let's pull that out. Okay, now we have what looks like the cartridge sleeve. That may... Alright, hold on, I need to pry that out. Okay, we're back. This thing did not exactly want to come out easily, so I wound up just taking the cutoff wheel, cutting the side of it open. So as you can see, there's the top end. This is a plastic cartridge that actually slides in. And then these right here are what's called desiccant beads. These suck moisture. And then there's a plate on the bottom. I'm just not sure if I bent that plate when we were taking it out. But as you can see, here's the beads. And these are what soak the moisture. And to avoid making a mess, I'm going to dump them in this bucket. And usually these are very clean and white, kind of like those ones are. As you can see, there's a lot of brown there. It's saturated with the oily substance and you can see in the bottom there's oil. So that's mainly what's in these because if we look at the bottom here we can see there's another piece of like cloth material. I think these, this is just to kind of sandwich the beads in there. I'm not sure if that okay yeah so that that had just come loose. Now what I had to do is I had to cut the side of this and then there's a plastic. So this is actually like a cartridge that slides in here and just pull the plastic off and this goes around the circumference. I will try to pull the whole thing out inevitably, but I need to get the shell open. So let me get to plucking on that. Uh, there's not much to the inside of these things. As you can see, most of it's just the beads. And the air comes in either the inside or the outside one way or another it comes in from one end and then goes out the other and that that's what circulates the air through the beads as it goes through and these are designed to suck moisture out of it all right let me try to get the rest of this thing out of here now that i dump the beads and we'll see okay so last clip here so now that i got it out like i said this is the cartridge that goes in uh, and what they've done here is they've they've got a couple of uh, layers of this uh, padding material. And this is mainly just to kind of keep the beads from coming out. And you can see there's some oil leftover residue as I'm chopping beads back into here, which are still there. So I'm gonna chuck those in there. Now this here goes to the bottom of the can, or I guess technically the non-thread part's the bottom. And it's got a spring here. And what this is doing is it's pushing up against the beads, keeping them squeezed so that when it does retain moisture, but it keeps them nice and tight. So I'm thinking what happens here is air comes in here, goes through, and then comes out the outside of the canister and goes back out. Or vice versa, that's why they have these little uh, spacers on the side. And then this whole thing just slides in one unit inside the can. As you can see, there's not really anything else in the can. Some remnants of oil. 
So, and that's why there's not much to this. Uh, it kind of gives you an idea of what's inside a uh, air filter dryer or air dryer filter. Desiccant beads are typically used in a lot of air applications, so you'll find these a lot, even in body painting and stuff like that. So, anyway, guys, if you liked the short video, please remember to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that like button down there. It helps get the video circulating. And uh, leave a comment if you got uh, any kind of interest there. And I'll uh, leave you guys with the fade out of the uh, Bendex label. Thanks for watching.